Welcome back to another video as part of our Carl video series. My name is Rob from Ahead Simulations, and today I'm going to be walking you through three different ways in which you can test Carl's hearing and the three different audiograms in which you can create in Carl. So those three audiograms in Carl, number one, unmasked only, so there's no masking required inside of these audiograms. There is then number two, masking only, which is where you only need to find the mask thresholds. And option number three is a complete audiogram with masking where you guessed it, you have to find the unmasked thresholds, determine which frequencies may require masking, and then mask appropriately. So walking you through these three examples right now, you'll see the audiogram list on the left side. I'm going to be using example one, two, three here as our three different uh, examples. Now you'll notice how you differentiate what kind of audiogram it is inside of this audiogram list is what the icons to the left are colored as. So I mentioned there are three different examples, unmasked, masking only, and then a complete. And those are seen by the differing icons. So example one, this is an unmasked audiogram. There's no masking required. And this is seen because only the unmasked icons are colored and the masking ones are grayed out. Example number two, this is our masking only case because only the masking icons are colored and the unmasked are grayed out. Example three, it's, in, it's a complete audiogram, so you may need to do both. In a gist, the colored icons are the ones in which you will be using inside of that test. So we're going to start nice and simple with example number one, an unmasked audiogram. You can see here's the plot. You can change from dual to single pane, and you can place all of your icons accordingly. So I'm going to place a few random ones here, pretending as if I am testing Carl's hearing right now. And when I click finish, you'll see how close I am. Wow, I got pretty close. <laughs> uh, you'll see how close you are at each frequency. So that's unmasked, nice and simple. Example number two is masking only. So when I click on that, you'll see the graph is in a single pane view right here. And your unmasked thresholds are already given to you. Now, you don't know if the poorer ear these thresholds are actual thresholds or not. So you'll have to look at the difference between the left and the right ear, determine based on your transducer, do I need to mask at this frequency? And then do so accordingly. You'll also see that in the right ear, this is the better ear, there's no options to put unmasked icons since of course that's not what we're looking to do in this case. But you can place in all your icons here. When you place it in, you can see the icon changes accordingly, but you still have the history of what the unmasks are above. So purely focused on masking. When you click finish, you can see the interoral attenuation on Carl based on the transducer that you are currently calibrated to, and you can see how close you were at every single frequency that required masking. And if there's a frequency that didn't require masking, then that's great. The unmasked values that were already given to you were correct. Sometimes all the frequencies as this one do require masking. In a lot of other cases that you'll probably create for masking, there will be only you know one, two, or a few frequencies to require masking. And then that's what we're really testing here in this example. Finally, number three is the complete audiogram. You'll see it's the same as the unmasked. It's just an open plot. But this example, we have the choice to pick our icon, to put in values for unmask and mass, to put in no response. Uh, you have lots of options to use here. So, you know, if I'm doing my unmask first, you'll place these. You'll slowly find which is the better ear or the poorer ear. You do know that at least one of these frequencies will require masking, so there will likely be a difference between the two. Otherwise, that would just be considered an unmasked case. 
And, you know, let's say that I did it incorrectly and I did not think that anything required masking and this is the result that I got. When I click finish, you'll see, okay, in fact, the left ear was the better ear. These were all the values. Here was the intooral attenuation. And then here were all the mass values that I should have found. So if I could click single pane again, you can see all of that in one plot. So those were the three ways in which you can test Carl's hearing. Unmasked, no masking required, number one. Number two, masking only, hyper-focused on that. And a complete audiogram, number three, which will require masking at at least a frequency or two. This is all seen through the icons that are next to the audiogram. And be sure to check out our How to Create an Audiogram video to get more details out about how to make these cases. If there's any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to a member of our team.